All right, Scorpio. What the fuck is up? This is a collective reading for fixed water. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for joining me. My name is Petra and I'm going to pull some cards. Check in with Scorpio, the Scorpio part of the sky. So whatever Scorpio placements you have, welcome. Whatever relationship to Scorpio you have, welcome. The moon is currently in Scorpio, so we're all feeling like Scorpios at the moment. So this is a just general check-in for the moment as well. It can apply to anybody. We all have an eighth house somewhere in our chart. Um, eighth house. Death and taxes <laughs> and sex, right? That's Scorpio. Um, all right. First, we're gonna look at how Scorpio's feeling. What's going on in your heart? What what the vibes are? Yes, I'm gonna read you, Scorpio. I know you're the one that likes to read people. Um, and then I'm going to offer your clearest pathway forward, your power stance. I'm trying to give a helpful reflection that can help you navigate the next month, the next six months, whenever you find this reading, it's all good. It's all good. Time is cyclical, right? So maybe next year, who knows? Who knows? I'm just gonna take a look while the moon is in Scorpio and tell you what I see. And I hope it's helpful. I hope you can apply it somewhere that makes sense for your circumstances. I will be looking at what's going on under the surface. So it's up to you to make sense of that. I don't separate my readings by love, romance, career, family, whatever. I just read the energy and that can apply in any part of your life. Sometimes it applies in all parts of our life, right? When things go to shit in one area, it usually affects all the others, no? When things are going good in one area, it usually affects all the others, right? Yeah. So we're going to look at what is at the source, what is at the heart of the matter for Scorpio? Fixed water. How are you feeling? I'm laughing at you because... Scorpio, whenever I try to tap into Scorpio energy, it, it's like kind of what's similar to Taurus. It's just kind of like <sighs> okay. <laughs> Damn, Scorpio, Ten of Swords in reverse. of these. Ooh. Hmm. King of Cups in reverse. Interesting. That's you, Scorpio. King of Cups. I was going to say Scorpio is always like, you're kind of like skeptical of someone being able to read you. But I actually feel like you're wanting to talk. Like, Like Scorpio is actually in the mood to, to pour your heart out to somebody. <laughs> You're going through it that bad. Um, 
no. I just, I, that felt like you were like, I actually do have something to say. Let me tell you. You don't have to read me. Let me tell you. So you may be wanting to have a conversation that you may, I'm, I'm just getting the feeling from this that it would be good for you to get your, how you feel off your chest, to have a safe conversation, a conversation with a safe person where you can really get your feelings off your chest. Because you're going through some serious healing. Ten of swords in reverse, three of wands in reverse, six of pentacles in reverse with temperance. Yeah, you're, there was some kind of ending. Something ended. Something came to a close. Feels like maybe three months ago, three years ago three days ago, <laughs> some kind of like six months ago, something that was, has been reverberating, bouncing around. Um, there's been, it's like, it's just sinking in what exactly what's happened. Something came to a halting end, a final end a dramatic end and it's like you it hasn't really been real until now there's something making it real it's like you didn't see it coming you didn't want to accept it when it did come there was some kind of resistance to like absorbing the impact but you're feeling it you're feeling it now temperance if you're feeling it. You're feeling the loss. Something, it's almost like something has happened, like this has caused ripple effects, a, re a reverb. Feedback, some kind, you know, when you have like, um, you know, static, like if you, if you had, like, if you're on the phone with someone and they have your sound is coming through them, you'll get that feedback thing. It's like, it's causing some kind of, this loss in the past is causing some kind of impact now. The impact is hitting you now. You're actually feeling the effects of it now. Maybe it's safe to feel it. Maybe there's something that's actually caused, you know, some this is a cause and effect, like this ending caused some kind of event, a person, place, or thing that now you're like, I have to f deal with this, I have to face this, I have to feel these emotions. I have to go through the motions, maybe. Or it could just be that you've reached a place where it's safe enough to feel. You've gotten farther enough, far enough away from this loss from the pain of it or the, you know, a delayed reaction. That's really common, right? A lot of us do that. Like, that's a that's a common um, coping mechanism. Like, you wait till after things have settled, till after things have kind of gotten a little bit far away in the past to really feel them and process those emotions because you have a little distance between yourself and you know, the traumatic event or the loss or the, it's like now the grief is safe enough to feel or you're far enough away from this event or something has, tr it's triggered some kind of impact that you're now actually feeling the grief, the emotions associated with this loss. I feel like, yeah, let's see. Why does Scorpio feel this way? Damn. Seven, a six, and a five. Two nines. The 
the raccoons. Raccoons are chilling on the roof. Four, a six, and a seven. Weird. Okay, this is weird. With the moon in the center. Okay, so you've got temperance and you've got the moon. These are the two major cards here. Sagittarius and Pisces. Jupiter is in Pisces. Jupiter just went retrograde, I believe. Yeah, this central moon, the central figure here feels like um, a mother figure or a feminine, your feminine side or your relationship to femininity. Um, it, it's central to this loss. There's some kind of reckoning with the divine feminine. Two nines, both in reverse. The Nine of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles with the moon. Why does this feel like really, how do I put this? Really old, like traditional, um, toxic femininity. <laughs> I don't know, is that a word? We, we say toxic masculinity, but... Why does this feel like toxic femininity? Like women purposefully allying themselves with men that hurt them or don't value them or per like th this, the doormat thing, like the, I'm just going to lay down and take whatever you can give me because I don't see my own self-worth. That's very old, very ingrained, a really old pattern in like toxic femininity, right? The kind of femininity that upholds its own devaluing, like women who devalue themselves, who look up to men, who settle for less, who don't see themselves clearly, who don't see their worth clearly, um... Yeah, it feels like some really old pattern that's either in your subconscious, in the women around you, and you're kind of feeling the need to confront it or feeling the feeling it. It's like you're feeling it around you in a different way or it's impacting you in a different way. Like it's always been there. That's what I mean by old. Like it's always been there, but suddenly something now is making it something you have to deal with, something you want to address or reconcile. Seven, six, five. Four, six, seven. Yeah, this is like really, this is like, feels like woman on woman violence <laughs> like the violence of you know mothers being really like much more harsh on their daughters and putting their sons on a pedestal kind of thing um the, the that tearing down of women to each other the hate can you see that can you see how this seven of swords is looking at this six of swords like resenting any any attention any pot success any um and trying to like keep keep you stuck with me keep you know i'm resenting your success i'm resenting you be able to, to do things or move forward so i'm going to keep you um down here with me like uh i don't like that <clears throat> Bad taste in my mouth. It, 
it's like, yeah, it's resentment of kind of crabs in the barrel kind of thing. That women do to each other. It could, it could be men, but it's definitely more like the feminine side of men. If it's, if it's men, right? It's, it's that downplaying of your own self-worth so you don't get stabbed in the back by your peers, right? It's kind of like, I can't afford to shine because this is, this is real emotional, right? It's like, if I, I can't afford to shine because you know, everybody from my neighborhood who does well gets, you know, robbed, <laughs> right? Or gets like people trying to tear them down, people trying to hold them back, people resenting them for their success. Like anybody who gets out of the neighborhood becomes a target kind of thing. Which is, when I say feminine, I just mean like that this, I feel like this is really common in, among women, but it does play out among men. But it's not that, it's not like men being in their masculine, like, it's petty. It's, you know, te a group tearing the person down that's getting ahead kind of thing. I'm making, I'm making, I'm not explaining myself about the fem, like, I don't know if this is making any sense. You know what I mean? Like, it's not, I'm not saying feminine is, is like inherently bad or inherently like, you know, but it's indirect, right? This is not people outwardly competing um, and being enemies. This is like, this is like not being able to get ahead because the people around you will resent you. Or, you know, anytime you, anytime someone from the group gets more attention, like the other people resent it. And so taking that in, internalizing it, internalizing it and taking yourself out of the spotlight, hiding yourself, minimizing your, your worth, you know, because it protects you from that kind of crabs in a barrel work. I'm going to pull you down because you think you're better than us kind of thing. These are all cups, four of cups in reverse. Six of Cups, Seven of Cups in reverse. Yeah, I feel like you're really, I, I feel like there's, it's like you're realizing how much, how much you've given to this. This could be one person. This could be a mother figure, a woman in your life, a um, or it could be a group, a family, a neighborhood, a, right, that resents the people who get ahead um, or who have a big thing about being humble, who have a big thing about, oh, we don't, you know, this, this minimite playing small, not speak, you know, don't speak unless you're spoken to kind of thing, like play, play it, like don't. It's a real um, humility that it's like disguised as being humble, disguised as being hum humble, humility, <laughs> having humility like this. And I feel like you're realizing like how much it's taken from you. Look, you've got six, six and a nine and a nine. Wow. It's weird. It's like. It's almost like you're just feeling it for the first time. Or something happened that, you know, that caused this impact that you're suddenly feeling it or you're seeing it in, in this new light. Um, you're seeing how much you've given to it. The Six of Cups, it's like, these are people you trusted. This is, you've given so much to this. You've, you've, to them, to, to the, like, you're realizing how much you've sacrificed because of this. 
your loyalty. Like, you're almost going like, wow, I could be here, but you're suddenly seeing the actual impact that it's had on you in terms of your career, in terms of your, the, you know, how good you look. Like, you, I feel like you're like looking in the mirror and going like, wait a second, like, I'm not, I've been holding myself back just so these people won't resent me. I could be here, you know, but I'm here. Four of cups with the seven of cups in reverse, both in reverse. It's like not, not being clear. This is a lot of, of just kind of going along with the program and giving over your, like just not feeling like, like, oh, this is just how people are, or this is just how it is. I'm not really going to question it. I'm just going to go along with it. Um, but it's like you're, you're suddenly feeling the impact that this has had on you. There's some kind of real life impact. Like it's held you back. It's held it's held your career back or it's held your relationship back or it's held you back from being happy and looking your best and feeling your best and doing your best. Like you're realizing you've been hiding yourself. You've been minimizing yourself. You've been keeping yourself in the house or not showing off or Or just not able to move forward for this. Like if, if this isn't something that you've actually internalized, this lack of self-worth, it's like it's something you're running up against in the people around you. Like, and you're realizing how much that holds you back. <laughs> this could be, I, I do kind of get this feeling of like you like isolated in this little bubble and kind of having to like, suddenly looking around and recognizing the people around you are seriously hate themselves they hate themselves and you're like i can't you're realizing you can't get ahead in that kind of a a situation and that it has been holding you back it's like every step you take you're like you like have to cringe you have to like walk on eggshells like you're not, or it's like running in sand, like you try to get ahead, but every, they keep undermining you because they don't trust them. So they don't believe in themselves. They don't value themselves. So they keep, it's just something like every step you take, they take you back a step. You can't get forward. You can't move forward. You can't get any success. They're, it's holding you back. Either because you've internalized it, you've taken it in, and you believe that too, or you have believed that as well, that you're not worthy. Um, and you're suddenly re seeing that, you're suddenly seeing the cost that that has had on you. Like, you just didn't want to separate from these people you didn't you know you trusted them they were your family they were your friends they were you know you're in this together like but there's something really concrete that this ending this ending that's been bringing you to a reconciliation with yourself it's this like literally just accepting and getting the impact of it and having to accept it. Like, I don't really see you even able to take any action at this point. It's just this impact that you're, it's like, wow, this has cost me so much. This has cost me. You got the three sixes. These are relationships. These are care, you know, giving and taking of care. 
you're realizing how much caring about these people has taken from you. Caring about what they think, caring about trying to, you know, take make them care about themselves. This could really be a thing of like, you know, mom, I've learned how to love myself. Like, like, why can't you? Like, there's this feeling of, you know, going back to your neighborhood and being like, this is how I figured out how to do better by my, you know, for myself. And um, like really trying to, like if this is something that you did internalize and then you worked through and you're sort of like, you're still realizing how much it's cost you and that that your those attachments, those relationships, like yeah, there's some kind of reckoning about how much those relationships have cost you. What is Scorpio's Clears halfway forward. It is Scorpio's clearest pathway forward. <laughs> the chariot. Move, bitch. <laughs> Get out the way. What is Scorpio's clearest pathway forward? What is Scorpio's clearest pathway forward? Scorpio got an extra card for each spread. So the chariot move. Three of wands, ten of wands, ace of wands. Wow. Yeah. Um, the chariot with the empress in reverse, the three of wands, and the ten of wands in reverse. Stop giving a fuck what other people think. Stop giving a fuck about taking care of other people's emotions. And person reverse, stop giving a fuck. Stop taking care of people. Um, it is not your responsibility. You are your responsibility, right? And th this, is, this is very... get out my way like like this this needs to be pushed through you're gonna have to like step on some toes you're gonna have to piss some people off you're gonna have to hurt some feelings um it's not your responsibility ten of ones in reverse not your burden it's not yours to carry other people's emotions are not yours to carry not yours to take care of I love that the chariot came out because it's cancer season. We just, the sun just went into cancer. We just had the summer solstice. We're starting the second half of the year or the, you know, the cancer to Capricorn half. It's like, there's some kind of break. There's some kind of clean break here with this 10 of swords in reverse in the chariot. You get a clean break. There's something, there's some impact that's causing you to feel how much this has actually caused you, cost you. And here's this three of wands repeated. This time it's upright. It's like exactly this wands. Six of wands, the double three is a six. 
right? This, this is what it's cost you. This is what you're realizing like, wow, I could be in that position if I hadn't been playing it small. Or I could be in this position or this far if I hadn't been having to take care of these people who insist on being miserable, who insist on acting against their own best interest or like have been dragging me back. This is like go in that exact direction. You can still have that. The six of wands is upright. The three of wands in this original spread is, is reversed, but here's your clearest pathway forward. Three of wands upright. That success is yours. It's still, it's still available to you. It's still coming to you. It's still, um, it's yours. You just have to not give a fuck about how people feel about it. <laughs> Push them out the way. Push them out the way. You're going to have to, like I said, step on some toes. Piss some people off. Seven of Cups. Again, Six of Cups. And again. Ooh, and the Six of Swords. Holy shit, Scorpio. So that's really a problem. Your loyalty. Look at this. The Six of Cups is in reverse. It's like they're using your sense of loyalty, your sense of connection, and like, well, th this is someone you can't imagine not caring about, right? This is like a connection that is soul level family, you know, have history together, have a, a wealth of good, a reserve of good feeling. And this six is here now in reverse. It's like that well has dried up. Let that well dry up. That's what they're using to keep you trapped. You got the six and the seven of swords here. Yeah, the Seven of Cups and the Six of Swords. They're using it to keep you blind. Your sense of loyalty, your sense of loyalty to the connection. It's keeping you confused. It's keeping your head in the cloud. It's, it's like smoke and mirrors. This is smoke and mirrors, if i ever seen it. This is pretty similar to the um, Virgo reading. Not in the way that it's playing out, but they just, they also are going through something that the Virgo energy is also going through this, like, kind of sabotage. Um, people resenting you for getting, getting ahead or get it, you know, the potential and trying to just. This is, this feels much more, that one felt more like desperate, but Virgos felt more desperate and kind of subconscious on the other person's part this other person or people group of, it could definitely be a group of people it could definitely be your mom it could be your grandma it could be a mother figure or a matriarch figure um or it could just be the women in your family or your peers the people who you're living with or in in private spaces with who you trust who you're kind of like intimate and um vulnerable with it actually feels a lot more active uh conscious a lot more insidious on their part like they literally know they know how much you care they know your sense of loyalty they know you can like they can push you or they can uh, push you around using that they know they can keep you, like, always giving them the benefit of the doubt. Always, always being willing to repair the relationship. It's like, because you're always willing to repair the relationship, they can always have the upper hand. So, 
this is your clearest pathway forward is to not give a fuck again. <laughs> not give a fuck. Six of cups in reverse. This is disloyalty. This is allowing yourself to be disloyal to a relationship that has history, that has every reason to be loyal. You know what I mean? This is someone who, or, or a group of people, or just, it feels like it could even be wider community. Like, just people in general, <laughs> right? Like you're just, this could be something like you're just suddenly realizing how you have been tiptoeing around everybody in your life, minimizing, hiding yourself, um, devaluing yourself, not taking up space because you're afraid of damaging relationships. Right, so this is saying your clearest pathway forward is to not give a fuck about damaging relationships. That is exactly what is keeping you confused. That's exactly what's keeping or what keeping you back, keeping you from being able to move forward. <laughs> I I don't know. It's just this is the only way I, I can read these cards. Is don't give a fuck how people feel <laughs> um yeah feel how you feel feel how you feel don't hide it don't don't try to manage others. If, you, if This is what this is. It's like if you're always trying to manage the connection with how you feel, you're never actually being yourself, right? You're never actually being... Um, you're not able to take up any space in relationships with people. That's what this is. It's like you're recognizing that you have, it's like you don't even, you're like, who even am I? Like nobody can see you. Yeah, it's like you've sacrificed a lot. Temperance, the moon, and the chariot with the empress in reverse. Yeah, Scorpio, I'm gonna I'm gonna say this. It's like you're you're here feeling the impact. You're feeling you're you're in your feels about it. You're in the blues. You're feeling sad. You're grieving. You're grieving how much this has impacted your life. Um, this pattern. <clears throat> this pattern of interaction and relationship, you're grieving it. And this is saying, get the fuck off your ass. Stop caring about how people feel. Stop taking care of other people's emotions. You have to be the one to go in the direction, to, you know, to go after what you want. It's not going to just come to you, right? If this is, look how much red there is in these three cards. It's a lot of action and forward like, get off your ass. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. <laughs> sorry. I'm not sorry. <laughs> like, it's, it's true. You can't just... You can't just feel the impact of this and then go back to, to doing that. You have to, to take that and do something with it. Right? You have to go, oh... I got to change this pattern. Oh, I have, you know, I have to stop caring what people think. I have to stop caring what, you know, stop walking around on eggshells or biting my tongue or, you know, minimizing the space I take up because I don't want to be resented. This is saying, let people resent you. Let people resent you. People are going to resent you. That's their fucking problem. That's their fucking problem. 
Because if you're in this chariot, you're going, you're moving. So what does it matter? You're not even there anymore, you know? Okay, what is Scorpio's... What is Scorpio's power stance? What is the power stance for Scorpio? Mars. I know you like that. Talk about movement. Talk about action. Talk about get off your ass. Get up and get get moving. Get moving. Stop. <laughs> if there's any other card in, in the entire, you know, my cosmic deck here, like, this is the most purest get out my way. <laughs> Move, bitch, get out the way kind of card especially with the chariot like <laughs> this is the move bitch part and this is the get out the way part <laughs> yeah just mars doesn't mars doesn't mind bumping up against things right mars doesn't mind the impact um mars doesn't mind conflict mars is gonna go in the direction it's gonna go regardless and That's what you need to do. That's your power move. <laughs> like I said, stop giving a fuck about other people's feelings. Stop giving a fuck about what other people think. How other people feel. That is not your responsibility. It's not even your business, let alone responsibility. Let's shuffle that a little more. What is Scorpio's power move? What is Scorpio's power move? What is the power stance for Scorpio? Hold on. I got to do this over. That was a mess. <laughs> okay. I gotta do that over. What is the power move? What is the power stance? What is Scorpio's power stance? Okay. Just one. That's why. That's why. Okay. The red panda. Aries energy, creativity, enthusiasm, and play. <laughs> That's so perfect with Mars. Look at that. It's like, have fun with it, right? This is the other side of, of Mars, of Aries energy, is the playful, that enthusiastic, just like, I believe in myself and you're not gonna the playfulness the enthusiasm it, it's almost an antidote to that resentment right it's like a lot of Aries get resented and this is the opposite Mars sign Scorpio is also Mars Scorpio is water Mars Aries is fire Mars and it's making me think of how Aries are often very resented, hated. Aries get a lot of attention and that attention brings hate, resentment towards them because they take up a lot of space unapologetically, right? They're not concerned about how other people feel. <laughs> and Scorpio, right? It's very, very different kind of Mars. It's the internal this moon it's like scorpio if aries always gets hated scorpio is the one hating like not in a bad sense like scorpio is the one that's going to to identify the things and strategize and and be like it's mars but internal it's like it's being very aware 
of the external. And this Aries Mars is just externalizing. It's just being yourself. It's just doing things and playing around, right? Play, it's like, I don't need to worry about how this comes across or how that comes across, or I'm just gonna go in this direction and then I'm gonna see what's there and then I'm gonna go in that direction. And that, that's play, right? That's this kind of innocent, this is the other side of Mars, Scorpio. Like, get into that flip side of Mars, the fire side of Mars, not the water side of Mars. Um, when you're in the water side of Mars, it's, like, very perceptive. It's, like, feeling, feeling things out. You feel how people feel towards you, and you're very aware of, of power dynamics and your position in them, and it's, like, strategizing. Like, how do I never be vulnerable? How do I never show my ass like that's what playful Aries are constantly embarrassing themselves too right constantly like making a fool of themselves because that's part of play making mistakes um you know just just it's all out in the open there's no um hiding there's no hiding in this energy Mars with the red panda oh I love that Love that for you. I feel like Scorpios and Aries have a mutual respect and love each other and have like kind of a understand each other and um, but it's a very opposite. It's a very different. It Mars plays out very differently in Scorpios than it does in Aries and. both have their ups, sides and downsides, right? But this is saying, get in that really not giving a fuck about your surroundings. Just being yourself regardless of the impact that it's gonna have on people. Having the impact on people versus absorbing the impact from people, if that makes any sense. Okay, can I have a room for Scorpio's power stance? Scorpio's power stance. Ooh, interesting. Need fire. Nothis, nothis. Kindling, it's like kindling. Fire under your ass. <laughs> Get up and go. This rune, it, it like speaks about the um, pressure of the things that you need to do, right? Like you need to start a fire. You need to find something to eat. You need to find water. And how that actually sort of causes invention. It causes you to be really creative. It causes you to create new ways of doing things. That's like the, what is it? Necessity is the, the father of invention, right? It's like the pressure is on you. It, it, this tells me, do not spend time here. Do not spend time here wallowing in how much this has cost you. It cost you this because you decided to minimize yourself. You decided to, to take this on as your responsibility. Nobody else is going to do this. Like, you can't take responsibility. <laughs> take responsibility for a, a how you got into this situation. It's like, sure, this costs you a lot, right? But only because you put other people in front of yourself. You can't put everybody else in front of yourself and then be mad when you don't do the things, you don't realize the things or get ahead or go in the directions you wanted to go. Like that, you made that choice. This was something you did. And so the, the, the pressure is on in terms of getting up and doing something about it. <laughs> 
get your ass up. I'm sorry I'm laughing. It's not really funny. Um, I My moon is in Sagittarius and I always laugh when things are not funny. Like I laugh when like horrible shit happens. So I'm just, I need to put like a disclaimer on my channel. I'm not trying to be an asshole. That's just, I laugh when shit is dark. <laughs> Cause this is just very, uh, a drastic advice, right? This is a drastic a difference between your clear's pathway forward and your power stance. That's looking really different from what you're doing. What you're doing is absorbing the impact. I think it's, I think you're seeing it and feeling it for the first time, but this is a warning not to spend too much time there, right? This is a warning to get up and go in that direction. Don't don't let this continue to stop you from going forward or being successful or getting, you know, being your best self. Like, don't let this to continue sucking you down, holding you down, pulling you down. Like, crabs in a barrel kind of thing. Like, you have, there's a real need. It's kind of dire. Don't spend time there. Get up and go. Do for yourself. You need to take care of yourself. You need to put yourself first. Stop giving a fuck about other people's emotions. <laughs> it's just, it's like all this red, Aries, Mars, and then not this. Ooh, it is like light. This is like a fire under your ass. Yeah, feel the impact, but let that push you to take action. Don't get attached, you know, don't spend too much time. Don't wallow in how much it's cost you. You got to get up and go. Hastily. <laughs> with haste, quickly, like. It's like a push, like this is, this is a push. This is like, do not, it feels like this will suck you in if you spend too much time in it. You know, feeling sorry for yourself or counting the ways that this, that they betrayed you, counting the ways that it held you back, counting the ways that this, you know, it, it's like you could spend forever going around and around doing that. Your clearest pathway is to make a clean break, to get the fuck out, to say, to say, I don't care anymore. I care about myself. I put myself first. I it, I need to put myself first. <laughs> yeah. Don't careful not to look to these people to validate what you're going through or even admit to what's going on. It's like you need to get the fuck out of there. If it's a physical situation, you need to, like, leave, right? You need to go in your own direction. If it's a mental, emotional situation, you need to stop stop caring so that you can put your needs first. Damn. All right. Is that it? I think that's it. Is that anything else that needs to be said, Scorpio? I 
I guess I just want to say that, yeah, that's it. I mean, you, you can be absolutely right about all of this, right? You can, you can be absolutely correct that they betrayed you, that this isn't fair, that you should have been farther, that this took that this pattern of women or the feminine parts of it, like this pattern of this minimizing and backstabbing and crabs in the bear, like you're right. You're absolutely right that that is fucked up. <laughs> That's not, that it's not fair, that it's, you know, you were there for them. They, you tried to help them out of the barrel, right? You tried to actually actively help them out. You were absolutely in the right, <laughs> but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You have to not care. You have to put your own direction, your own desires, your own growth, your own, like, that has to, it, it, it is, it is up to you to put that at the top of your priority list. Like, no one else is going to do that for you. No one else can, right? That's your responsibility, no matter how wrong they were towards you. The victim, a victim mentality is really dangerous. So there's a, yeah, this feels like it's dangerous to spend time in that victim mentality. Get the fuck out. All right, Scorpio. <laughs> That's it for tonight. That's it for tonight. I hope that was helpful. And um, yeah, I'm open for personal readings. If you're interested, hit me up. I'll put my link for my shop in the description below and um i'll see you next time what am i gonna do next taurus i'll see you for taurus your opposite sign all right scorpio have a good night